Fasting's health benefits. What you need to know about fasting for your health. Fasting science, tactics, and advantages when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle, good eating and regular exercise are frequently mentioned. While this is true, there is more we can think about when it comes to our connection with food and living a healthy lifestyle. Fasting is voluntarily abstaining from some or all food, drink, or both for a period of time. Short-term fasting can provide good health benefits, despite its reputation for being harmful, depriving, or reserved for religious reasons. Fasting is becoming more frequently regarded as a viable technique of managing weight and preventing disease as research in this field expands. Simultaneously, it is critical that fasting be done in a proper and healthy manner. Fasting is a science. The benefits of fasting are now supported by a considerable body of research, albeit the most significant data comes from animal studies. Nonetheless, these results are encouraging for people. Fasting, in essence, rids our bodies of toxins and encourages cells to engage in processes that aren't normally triggered when a regular supply of food is available. When we fast, our bodies don't have access to glucose as they normally do, requiring our cells to find other ways to generate energy. As a result, the body begins the natural process of creating its own sugar, gluconeogenesis. Non-carbohydrate elements such as lactates, amino acids, and lipid S are converted into glucose energy by the liver. Our basal metabolic rate, the amount of energy our bodies burn while resting, becomes more efficient as a result of our bodies conserving energy while fasting, decreasing our heart rate and blood pressure. Another phase that occurs later in the fast cycle is ketosis, which occurs when the body uses stored fat as its primary source of energy. This is the best mode for weight loss and blood sugar regulation. Fasting causes modest stress in the body, which causes our cells to adapt by increasing their ability to cope. To put it another way, they become powerful. This is similar to what happens when we exercise and put our muscles and cardiovascular system under stress. Our bodies can only get stronger during these processes if we take enough time to relax and recover, just like when we exercise. That is why fasting for a brief period of time is recommended. The different types of fasting these three types of calorie restriction, or fasting, have been shown to improve longevity in lab studies. Feeding with a time limit This is the technique of restricting calorie consumption to a time frame that corresponds to our circadian rhythm. Our body clock, or circadian rhythm, is the natural cycle that informs our bodies when to sleep, rise, eat, and more. Aligning with our circadian rhythm can be as simple as eating meals exclusively during an 8 to 12 hour period each day while fasting. For example, between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. body systems perform best when they're in sync. Midnight munching, when our bodies are supposed to be sleeping, throws our natural repair mechanism off. Furthermore, allowing our bodies extra time to repair is good for our health. Calorie restriction on a continual basis The habit of consuming less calories during the day. The focus of research has been on a two-day diet in which calories are cut in half and carbohydrates are restricted for two weeks in a row. This method subjected the body to brief and intensive therapy. Intermittent calorie restriction also informs us that we don't have to eat all of the time. When we do consume, we may make informed decisions and continue with our typical activities and exercise while using less fuel. Fasting mimicking diets and periodic fasting. This entails restricting calorie consumption for 3 to 5 days, causing the cell's glycogen stores to decrease and ketosis to begin. While it is possible to accomplish this without eating, it is not recommended. A 5-day calorie-restricted diet, about 1,000 calories per day, is enough to approximate fasting without nutritional depletion. This approach is seen to be preferable to the 2-day fast since it allows the body to enter ketosis and start a true detox. Fasting's health benefits Although fasting might be difficult and uncomfortable at times, the emotional and physical advantages can include boost your cognitive abilities obesity and its related chronic disorders can be avoided. Inflammation should be reduced. Boost your overall fitness weight loss should be encouraged. Reduce your chances of developing metabolic disorders. Patients with cancer will benefit. Fasting during chemotherapy boosts the immune system and reveals cancer cells, according to a recent study involving mice and cancer. Getting rid of old, poisonous cells and replacing them with new, healthy ones could be the solution. Traditionally, Cancer patients have been advised to boost their food and caloric intake while undergoing chemotherapy, but this advice may be changing. If you're thinking about trying fasting, talk to your doctor first.
Thank you for watching this video. Hope you subscribe to enjoy future videos the NBC team.